Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White! We are on part 21. I didn't really want to continue recording right now, but I was training in that in that building where all the trainers were, where all the clerks were, and there was one trainer that had a bunch of Basculins for some strange reason, so Flick battled a bunch of them and he got to level 22, but now he's evolving! I totally did not expect him to evolve. I gave him a massage earlier, so maybe that did it. But let's see what Flick evolves to now. I can't believe he's evolving already. I can't believe his happiness is that high already. This is awesome. Ha! This is really awesome. Yeah, so now Flick will evolve into a much cooler looking Pokemon. Ha <laughs> ha! So now Flick is a Levani, and now he really looks like an ant. So... <laughs> Oh, and now he's learning Struggle Bug. That's kind of interesting. Now, Struggle Bug yeah. is a move that it actually does special damage, but I think it'll also harshly raise special attacks. So I'm going to forget String Shot, yeah. just because. I mean, I know Flick is kind of slow, but I don't know if he really needs String Shot. But that was amazing! I can't believe Flick evolved! I totally cannot believe Flick evolved. That is... Wow. <laughs> So now, Leafani is not as slow as Swadloon is. Unfortunately, Flick does have a relaxed nature, so that means he is a little bit slower, but he still has pretty high defense and he has really high attack too, so that's another good thing. And at least if, if, if Sunny Day is in effect, he'll get a, a speed boost because of his chlorophyll ability. So that's kind of nice, at least. So Struggle Bug is a special attack that does 30 damage, and it reduces special attack, so... Not really the best move for a Flick to have, but still, it's pretty useful. And I think Berg specializes in this attack. I think when we defeat Berg, we'll get like a TM for it or something. I don't know why I'm hinting at that right now. But I don't feel like battling out each other trainers because those stupid Basculins hurt all my other Pokemon. But what's interesting is that the reason why I was in this building in the first place was I wanted to level up Brock a, bit, a little bit. And I went to that trainer with a lot of Basculins, and I actually had Brock battle one of the Basculins. And Basculin's Aqua Jet actually didn't do a whole lot of damage. I was quite surprised. It only took out like a fourth of Brock's HP, even though it was super effective. So he was actually able to defeat one of the Basculins. It took like three Rock Blasts, each with two hits each, to do that. So that was kind of nice. <laughs> and of course, Basculins, I think, are almost always male, so Brock can't really use his new Attract move on it. But that was pretty neat, actually. I. I now, there's another thing I actually want to show, and... Actually, I think I'll keep Brock first in the party, just because I can use experience and all. But, do I have Kikucho in the party, actually? I think I have Kikucho in the party. Yes, I do! And that's good, because I want to go down this other street. Remember that gallery we were, we were at yesterday, who wanted a poison-type Pokémon to sketch? I think every day he wants a different type of Pokémon that he wants to meet. So, today, he's asking for a water-type Pokémon, so that's why I made sure that I had Kikucho in my party, so I can get- so I can show him a water Pokémon. So, today, he'd like to paint water-type Pokémon. Yes, I have a water-type Pokémon. I have Kikucho. Yay! We have a Cherry Berry! I think we got a list of berries, but I just automatically chose the first one or something. So, I think all we get is a berry or something, a berry of our choice, but, eh, not a really good prize, and again, we can't get that- that ice cream thing or whatever. Now, I think this street down here, what's the street called? Mode Street! Now, that makes total sense, actually, because mode is, I think, as a, is, is a word for ice cream or something, and sure enough, there's an ice cream shop on that street, so there's, is that appropriate or what? <laughs> but I was... So, so I head down to Route 4 for a, while, for a while and train some of my Pokémon, but the reason, the real reason why I'm going out here is because there's another area of Route Floor that we can, uh, Route Floor, Route Four that we can explore. So yeah, I gotta keep Brock out and hope that that Daramaka appears. But yeah, we'll see. What is this Pokemon? Hey, it's Daramaka. What do you know? Good, Brock can defeat it and get to level 20. All right, and it's a female daughter Maka. That's even better. That, we can, that way we can use a track on it. Let's use a track. Okay, and it uses and it knows incinerate. Now daughter Maka, I found out, also knows fire punch, which is a physical attack. But I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> now this daughter Maka is in love with Brock. <laughs> I bet Brock would love to be able to use a track in real life, so they can just make all the pretty girls he sees fall in love with him. But yeah, that daughter Maka is immobilized by love. <laughs> And of course, Brock will not get hit by the sandstorm because he's rock type. See, he's using. Oh, not Fire Punch, Fire Fang. Something like that. 
Okay, that's cheap. Flinched. Come on, Brock. Okay, now that daughter Maka sees a headbutt, and that's not very effective. Wow, it. Yikes. I'm gonna have to, like, use a potion or something. Not a Pokeball, a potion. Or fresh water, actually. I know it seems kind of weird to use a fresh water on Brock, but. Yeah, whatever. Come on. Okay, good, that daughter Maka's a mobile by love, and it's just gonna get hit by Sandstorm, and we won't. And Brock used Rage, and, and the daughter Maka used Rage, but it missed. I think that daughter Maka has the Hustle ability, which will increase its attack power, but lower its accuracy. So I think that's what it has. The daughter Maka that I just caught actually has Hustle. I don't know if you were... Oh, good, Brock is learning Iron Defense. That'll sharply raise his defense. Oh, I don't know. What am I going to, what am I going to sacrifice for it? I don't want to make him forget a tract. Eh. Yeah, I'll just make him forget Mudslap, because Mudslap is... First of all, Mudslap just lowers accuracy, and second of all, it's a special attack, so it won't really do a lot of damage, especially since Brock does not have very good special attack. So, yeah, I'm just going to have him forget Mudslap and learn Iron Defense. But let's see what's up here. But now that Brock's level 20, I think I'll put him away for now. I'll stay I'll put Bert in the party. I'll, or I'll put Bert first in the party. Actually, I'll put Kikucho first in the party. Just in case we encounter any wild Pokemon. So, there's this area up here that. Ah! Eh, that was a sound dial, not too hard to defeat. But the area that I want to go to is actually up here. And actually, I gotta put my Dowsing Mitch to work. I. I I registered that to the Y button, so I have my dowsing machine. So let me show you my bottom screen for a minute. For a minute, this is the dowsing machine, and it'll basically ping whatever it notices an item nearby. And it'll also show us the exact location of the item if we're standing right on top of it. So that's really nice. So as soon as I get the screen centered again, yeah, then we can proceed forward. Okay, we have a trader. Well then, let's battle this trader. Okay, what are you gonna use? Gus? Alright. Oh, he's using a rock and roll level. It's a good thing I sent out Kikucho. This is really good. I love it when I pick the right Pokemon for the battle. machine is pinging. That means there's an, there's an item up that's upward. I think maybe it's on the other side of that thing. But now we have to walk through this tall grass in order to get to it. I mean, not this tall grass, the sand. Come on, where's the item? Oh, now we have to fight this other trader. Oh, that's just great. Okay, let's fight another Yamamucho Macho Man. I want to be a Macho Man. And he's using a man timber. But my own timber is more manly than him. Because he's the amazing flint. Um, I gotta switch out. Actually, I know I won't. No, actually, yes, I will. 
no switch to Ernie. Come on, Ernie, go! every turn. It's not really a- I don't really like that attack, but I'm just gonna forget Tackle anyway. Because Tackle is way overrated. It's way outdated for him. He knew that since the very beginning. <laughs> so yeah. Am I gonna switch out to somebody other than Kikucho? That's the only bad thing about the dowsing machine, is that it disappears once- once you- once you want to go to the start menu or something. But we could always bring it, bring it up again just by pressing Y. Oh, and apparently I'm standing right on top of the item, and it's an ether! Alright, we got an ether. And I see another item up there. Okay, there's another item up to the left somewhere. And it's down, it's to the left. Oh, I was standing right on it. It's a burn heal! Alright. Well, these are interesting. We have all these, like, buildings here or something. That's... I wonder what these buildings are for. Ha! Huh. It's as if they're trying to build something out here in the desert. It's kind of weird. And we have a TM for Torment! Yay! Now, I don't think we can go any further with Long Route 4. There is this guy out there that's blocking our way or something. Ah. You know, I think one thing I might I might do eventually is that whenever we are in a battle with the trainer, then ah. Dumb daughter mock us with their fire fights. But yeah, one thing I might do eventually is... Well, let's see if I can get that item. One thing I might do eventually is whenever I'm in a battle with a trainer, yay, Hyper Potion. Wow, that stores like 200 HP. Oh, that'll be really useful much later on. But whenever I'm in a battle with a trainer, I think what I might do is I might have each of the Pokemon like have their own theme playing. Like a like a song that represents them or something. And I already know what Kikucho's theme will be, so that'll be, inter that'll be exciting once we get it. Let's hear our Pokemon first. In fact, I think I think we're debating right now whether to whether to test that out in the previous two Pokemon battles that we had. So if I already did that, then you know that my test was a success. So yeah, and of course I have no idea what I'm doing yet because I'm recording live. So <laughs> yeah, what else will I do now? I guess the only thing I could really do right now is 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 just train up for the gym. And I want to train up, I want to level up Burning Man a bit, so I think what I'll do is I'll pause the video right now and see you later after I train up a bit. Oh my gosh! Something else awesome happened! I fought into a shaking patch of grass in Windmill Forest, and now how I said all the elemental monkeys can appear in this area? Well look, here's a pad pour! I found a pad pour! A pad pour! I can't believe this! Well, I'm gonna switch to Ernie. Because I don't want Burning Man out because he's fire type and pad pour is water type. I can't believe I found a pad pour! This is awesome! This is just really awesome! Please don't paralyze me. Okay, good. Yeah, Lick can sometimes paralyze the foe, so... Yeah, I gotta use Seismic Toss because I know that can't be a critical hit. It does a set amount of damage. And I do not want this Panpour to faint. Well, good. It looks like I can use another Seismic Toss safely and not have to worry about it, so yeah. This is awesome! I found a Panpour! Okay, it has a berry. Okay, that's cheap. Let's see, do I have any Pokemon that can- that know any status-inducing moves? Let's see if I do. I guess not. Well... In that case, what I- well... Actually, I have a Netball, and that'll work well on Water and Bug-type Pokemon. And since Padpore is Water-type, this should work on it, so let's use a Netball. Yeah, 
now. We caught a monkey in a net. We caught Tadpour! All right! I caught a Tadpour! Ha ha ha! It does not drive a drive, I'm saying, yeah, this Pokédex entry is not really gonna matter. But, yeah, I am going to give a nickname to this Panpour. You betcha! You betcha! Now, what nickname am I gonna give it? Now, I think I already came up with a name to give it earlier on my nickname list, but I think I'm gonna give it an entirely different name. See if this name will fit or something. Ah! I misspelled that. Stupid typo. I'm naming it Bubblemon! Now, <laughs> now, this is actually short for Bubble Monkey, which is this character from. which is this monkey from Earthbound who blows bubblegum and floats across places with that. So I named this, this, this monkey after the Bubble Monkey. So, but Bubble Monkey does not fit. Instead, Bubblemon. So I'm making, totally making him sound like a Digimon, but yay, I caught a Padpour! But here's another thing that happened. I wandered into this building, building in Castelia City that was in the, in, I think, the very northern part of Castelia City. In this building, there was a there was a scientist there who wanted to check how many Pokemon I've seen. And I think he needed, and I think I needed to have seen at least 30 Pokemon. But I have seen 33, so I definitely met that requirement. But he gave me this really cool item, and I, actually, I think. Actually, I think Burning Man is holding it right now, but I'll actually take the item from him so he can see what it is. But yeah, the item that I got for him is an Aviolite, and this is a really awesome item. It's a, it's completely new in black and white, so basically it, 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 it gives a defense and special defense boost to any Pokémon that has yet to evolve, so that is really, really helpful. Now, of course, it'll have no effect on 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 Bert, Ernie, or Flick because they had because they can't evolve anymore. But it does work on Burning Man because he still has a has yet to evolve, and it'll also work on Kikucho because he, because he also has yet to evolve because all the starters evolved twice. But yeah, that was really fortunate. I actually caught a Panpour, so Panpour won't really be that useful in, against Berg. And I already leveled up Salsa a bit, so I think so. At least I'll have Salsa for that battle. But that's awesome. But yeah, I'll see you. I'll, I'll pause this video again, and I'll see you later. Okay, honestly, I think I think I think Bubble Mod is just taking forever to train, so I'm just gonna wait. A, I'm just gonna wait a while to train him, just like with K. Rule. So I think right now what I'm gonna do, since most of my Pokemon are at level 20, is go into the gym. So let me show you what I ha who I have in my party. So I have Salsa, I have Orville, Brock, Flint, Electra, and Burning Man. Wow, Electra's the only girl of the party. So I'm basically picking everybody who has a move against who is strong against that's strong against bug Pokemon. So that's basically what I did. Originally I was gonna put Schnuffle on the party because because of Retaliate, but she just but he just learned secret power and so and which has more power points than Retaliate and the same base power, so what what's happening? Sharon? Hey Minerva, I just challenged Gym Leader Berg! He's a seasoned gym leader, he made me work for that gym badge. But for me, bug Pokemon aren't much of a challenge. I'm gonna keep winning like this against all of the Unova region's gym leaders. Then I'll head for the Pokemon League and I'll perform the champion. If I do that, everyone will admit what a strong trainer I am. That'll make me truly alive. Okay, Sharon, fine, you know it all. Get out of my way, I wanna challenge- Hey, it's Berg! Aha! You're the one who fought Team Plasma in Pinwheel Forest. If I remember, your name is Minerva. Come to challenge to the gym, I suppose? <gasps> he remembers my name! Oh my gosh, I'm so touched! Aw, oh, sorry, but, uh, could you wait a bit? I was informed that Team Plasma has shown up. Oh, great! Great! What?! What do you mean Team Plasma has shown up? You mean we can't challenge the gym leader yet? Ah, uh, I hate it when this happens. I think I'm gonna have to, like, change my Pokémon just, just for this. Oh, that sucks. Well, I don't know where Prime Pier is. I think it's the one by the Pokémon Center, but I might be wrong, so we'll see. But I think it's gonna go back to the Pokémon Center, but... I can't believe this incident with Team Plasma just came up at the last minute. And I think, and I think, in fact, since it did, I'm going to take my Violite away from Burning Man because he's held, because he held it. And I'm going to take my new Panpour out and put her and put him in my party. I keep calling Panpour her because its ball form looks very feminine. But I'm going to take Bubble Mon out. I'm going to take the Bubble Monkey out. I'm going to replace. Yeah, I'm going to replace Burning Man. I'm going to put Lassie in the party. Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of putting random Pokemon to the party, and I gotta put K. Rule in the party for the heck of it. I'm gonna replace. No, oh, actually, I won't. I'll save K. Rule for later. Yeah. 
let's go out to this pride pier or whatever. And of course I'll get bug bubble bar via violite. And I'll put Bubble Bomb first from the party. Yeah. Alright, so where's this Prime Pier? Is this Prime Pier? Nope. It must be the one at the other end, then. I think Prime Pier is the one at the other end, right? Whatever it's called, do these signs have any clue? Unity Pier. Let's see. What about this one down here? What's this? Liberty Pier. Oh yeah, that's that's the pier that the that the boat that can only be accessed via a rare event goes to, because that is called the I think the, something having to do with Liberty Liberty Cruise. There's Prime Prime Pier right across from Mode Street, right across from Ice Cream Street. <laughs> okay, so here's Team Plasma. What happened? Come on, this way. Hi, I'm so excited I get to help Berkeley to beat Team Plasma again. Team Plasma, they took this young lady's Pokemon. Minerva, is there, any way we, is there anything we could do on my moon app? Uh, Team Plasma took it. Oh, what? You mean, you mean they took Bianca's Muna? I didn't even know Bianca had a Muna. I heard this lady scream and ran after the thief as fast as I could. But this city is so big and crowded, I'm afraid I've lost them. Iris, you did everything you could. Iris is actually another gym leader. She's the gym leader of some town that we won't encounter until much later on. But that's so bad! Taking people's Pokemon is really bad! Because it's really nice when people and Pokemon are together. They each have something the other doesn't, and they help each other. Iris. Agreed. No fear, we will get that Pokemon back. Don't you worry. Hey! I'm supposed to be the one you're supposed to be caring about, Berg! What, do you have something- You have? Do you have feelings for Iris or something? Right, Minerva? Having said that, finding a person or a Pokemon here in Castellia City will be like finding a needle in a haystack. Unless they just come for us right now. See, here's a Team Plasma grind right now. I spy a gym leader. In fact, I spy two gym leaders. Last time went so well. I thought I'd grab another Pokemon. Me thinking. Eh, I need to get out of here. Hey, hey, come back, come back, come back, come back. Minerva, let's go. Iris, you stay by that young lady's side. Good, I get to follow Berg. Yay, thank you, Berg. Very nice choice. I'll go with you, okay? Okay, okay. I'm gonna be Bianca's guardian because I have really powerful Pokemon, and I won't tell you what type they are. So you go after the bad guys, okay? Although, if you've watched the anime, Iris does appear as one of the main characters in the anime, and she has an Axew, which is a dragon-type Pokemon. Yes, she is a dragon-type gym leader. She uses dragon-type Pokemon, so I'm not worried about her at all. Meanwhile, let's try to find this Team Plasma Grunt. Ah, uh, where could the Team Plasma Grunt be hiding? I don't know. Let's... I have a hunch uh, that he might be in the park or something. That guy just bumped into me. Maybe I should have talked to him or something, but I don't feel like it. I have a Team Plasma Grunt to find. Uh, team Plasma Grunt, where are you? I think I'm actually gonna speed this part up until I find the Team Plasma Grunt. Hey, there's Berg! Never mind! That way! Mm -hmm. Toward the gym? Sure! Let's follow Berg! I wanna follow Berg! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's find this Team Plasma Grunt baddie, whatever thing! Yay! This is definitely the place. Uh. No one's here! Not us all, you liar! You liar! You liar! Yeah, let's have a battle. Let's have a battle. Ha uh ha. -uh. Oh, please. Minerva, I'll leave that one to you. You coward. Hey, hey. You're leaving me to battle this cheese plasma for all alone? Oh, actually, I see what this is. Burns trying to prove how strong I am. Battery's just trying to see what kind of Pokemon I have before battling him. And good, that cheese plasma card is sitting out a sand dial, which is good because I'm sending out a pad for. <laughs> this is good. Sabile. Well, I'm gonna have to switch Pokemon because her accuracy is lowered. So I'm gonna switch to Flit. Oh, 
right side by old up one hit KO'd by the amazing glitch. Said glitch got to level 21, yay! Yeah, that was too easy. That was too easy. This is bad! Bad, 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 bad for Team Plasma, or Plas bad for short. <laughs> oh, that's just funny. Well, Burke, how'd I do? How'd I do? How'd I do? Oh, we got lost. Even if directions for the cross transceiver, I couldn't figure it out. Team Plasma is inside. The stolen Pokemon may be in there as well. Okay, I'm going in, and I'm following you, Burke. I'm following you. Okay, this time I'll join the fight. Come on, Bianca, you too. Wait! Minerva, you come too! Yes, I want to come! I want to fight alongside Berg! That's what I want to do, right? Well... Well, unfortunately, we are 27 minutes, and I don't think I'm gonna have time for this fight, so... I apologize, everybody, but I'm gonna have to save the game, and I'm gonna have to come back to this later. I can't believe how long this took. I did not expect that stupid encounter with Team Plasma. So, see you later on part 22 of Let's Play Pokemon White.